Hello Kriti student, I am your same teacher. In this video, we will talk about the chapter 1, Living Things and Their Environments. In your student book, page 4 until 7, Habitat is the place where the living things live and environment is the surrounding of the living things. There are three habitats. The first one, pond. The environment of pond is wet. The animals that live in a pond, for example, fish, frog, dragonfly, duck, and etc. And the plants that live in the ponds, for example, duckweed and water lily. The second one is desert. The environment of desert is hot and dry. The animals that live in the desert, for example, camel, desert fox, snake, lizard, and etc. The plants that live in the desert, for example, acacia tree and cactus. The third is rainforest. The environment of rainforest is hot and humid. The animals that live in the rainforest, for example, orangutan, tiger, tree snake, tree frog, and etc. The plants that live in the rainforest, for example, Rafflesia, fern, mushroom, and etc. We continue in page 10 until 16. In page 10 until 16, we talk about the plants and animal survival. In plant survival, I choose three plants. The first, palm tree. Palm tree have a thick and tough leaves that protect them from the heat of the sun and have spine shaped leaves that can stop the water loss. And number two or the second is cactus. Cactus have stems that can store the water and have spine shaped leaves that can stop the water loss. Number three or the third one is water lily. Water lily have a big leaves that floats on the water that can attract the sunlight to making a food. Animal survival. Number one is camels. Camels have a thick coat of hair that protects them from the heat of the sun. They have a white soft feet so they can walk on the sun for a long time. They can eat and drink the large amount of water and food and store it at their home. Number two, penguins. Penguins have a thick skin and lots of fat under their skin that can keep them warm. Number three, snake. Snake in some area must avoid the heat of the sun so they live in the caves the hollows rocks and logs that protect them from the heat of the sun let's continue page 17 in page 17 talk about the good environments for the living for example the beach is clean and its surrounding natural forests and the clean rivers and the cities are clean and have a plenty of the fresh air. Let's continue in page 18 until 19. In page 18 until 19, talk about the pollutions. There are three pollutions, land pollutions, water pollutions, and air pollutions. The examples of land pollutions is the ground is very dirty because of the rubbish is not thrown properly. Number two, water pollution. Water pollution, for example, is the river sea is very dirty because of the rubbish and the chemical waste from some factory. And the third is air pollution. The examples of the air pollution is because of the factory and the vehicles have a smoke that can make the air dirty. In page 21 and 22, 
we talk about how to keep the environment clean and healthy that we can do are number one throw the rubbish into the rubbish bin number two pick up the litter to help to clean up the surrounding number three don't throw rubbish into river and see number four don't spoil oil into the river or the sea let's continue page 23 and 24 how to carrying the animals and plants we start from carrying the animals provide them with the good food and water give shelter to them don't forget to clean the cellar and number three treat them with the kindness now carrying the plants number one plants more tree in our surrounding number two don't cut too many trees in the forest number three water the plants and give the sunlight to keep them alive thank you for watching this video i will always remind you to stay at home stay healthy and stay safe always do the physical distancing and social distancing and don't forget always wear your mask wash your hands with soap and